Hey there and welcome on back. As always, I'm Carl with Turk's Attitude, Absent Mind Professor Knives and All Things Sharp. So on back, grab your pens and paper, class about to begin. Today we're looking at a newer one from CJRB. The Ruffian. Yes, it's rough in. Designed by, I want to say, Dirk Pinkerton. Let me double check. Yes, Dirk Pinkerton. It's a nice little knife. Four inches close, three inches of blade. Again, it's somewhat different from most blades you see today since it's a one cliff design, which almost a uh, sax as sharp as that is just a slight curve give it a little bit of a belly but not much very sharp tip black powder coated blade made of uh, their newest uh, material it's RPM oh wait a minute let me double check that <clears throat> yeah it's AR RPM 9, which is exclusive to Artisan and CJRB at the moment. I'm sure other knife companies are going to try to steal it, though, once they can. For those of you who have not seen me review a knife made of the uh, AR RPM 9 steel before, basically, Artisan was looking for a knife that would... Uh, have the corrosion resistance of 14C28N, but the toughness of D2. And so they came up with this. It's a powdered steel, which to my mind means that uh, once it becomes available to the general market, it might make it a nice choice for some uh, powdered Damascus. But we'll see what happens. As I said, Black PVD coated blade, black G10 for the handle scales with red pivot. Pocket clip is nice and deep, and it can be switched. So, can't be switched for tip down carry, unfortunately. You're stuck with tip up, but it can still be switched. It's a liner lock. And the lock covers a good third of the knife, which is nice. This is not a flipper. Um, there is no extended tang. All you've got is thumb hole, sort of like Spider-Co. I'm not good at the Spidey flick, but still opens very nicely, very smoothly. All in all, very nice. Um, yeah, it does have skeletized liners. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. The black on black makes it kind of difficult. But very smooth, very comfortable on the hands. There's nice jumping on the back here. Question is. How well will we handle our standard battery of tests? Let's see ya and find out, shall we? Start with a sand piece of paper. And as always, this is right out of the box. No touch-up, no sharpening, no nothing. Almost forgot. That is a flat grind blade. Um, not a very thick spine, but thick enough to give it some good... Uh, Reinforcement. And it's just going through the paper like nobody's business. Excellent. Let's see your cardboard. Standard corrugate cardboard box. Get 
that apart quick and easy. And threads it very nicely as well. Excellent. And see here, what's next? Um, oh, I forgot to grab a bottle. Be right back. Okay, got a standard Gold Peak tea bottle. Let's see how well this handles this. If it can handle this, it'll open up any hang packaging I know of. Maybe a little resistance going in, but not bad. Once it's in, it definitely made short work of it. Can't complain about that. Let's see here. Paracord. Never know. Oops, excuse me. Got something going on here. Be right back. Okay, sorry. Had to take that call. Um, where were we? Oh, yes. Paracord. Let's see how well it works on this. I take almost no pressure at all. Let's see here. Get to a smaller loop. I guess using the tip of the blade. Still cut it gorgeous. I'm rather impressed with that. Okay, um, zip ties. Handiest thing ever invented in so many ways, but very difficult to cut. Normally you want a pair of uh, diagonal cutters. Let's see how well this does. One and done. Gorgeous. How about chopping? Let's see here. Here's a piece of wood. Yeah. Yeah, I keep it near the edge of the wood so I can use back of the blade. Does a beautiful job. I'm going to have to get the vacuum out here in a little bit, but I will. Let's yeah, see here. There, and scrap piece of wood for my shop. Very sweet. Let's see here. Feathering it up nicely. And see how it does on chopping. I can't complain about the chopping, but it's a short enough blade that it's a little difficult to get very deep. But we did it. Let's see here. Time's going to be a little tight. If I can slip down in here, I'm going to cut myself for sure. So let's see if it will baton though. Pretty nice. <coughs> if I had a piece of wood or a batter, something to use as a baton stick, I'd probably do even better. Oh, we forgot to do leather, didn't we? So, I normally do leather before we start hammering on wood, but why not? Yeah, that's beautiful. That's absolutely gorgeous. Yes, I know, kitten. Daddy'll take care of you in a little bit, okay? Daddy's got to finish this up first. Let's see here. Um, there is that. Uh, hmm. Can't find that uh, 
wearing harness I've been using to whittle on. I'm beginning to think my wife may have taken it and thrown it out, which... Okay, fair. It was getting pretty beat up and all. Here we go. Only a two-piece section, but still. Right through. Yeah, very nice on um, splitting in two. How about unstripping it? Very sweet. Have to buy another wire harness for my next review, but we got that. Um, only thing left is the ferro rod, which. That's not the ferro rod. Where did the ferro rod disappear to? Well, looks like I won't be testing it against ferro rod, but oh, there it is, right in front of my face. With that PVC coating, I'm not sure what we'd use to strike against a ferro rod, except for the, um, let's see here. No. Definitely not. Definitely not. No, that PVC coating is going to keep it from striking any sparks no matter what. And you know what? I said we couldn't flip it to uh, tip down carry. I was wrong. You can. Which is very sweet. Uh, very sweet indeed. But there you have it. Oh, let's go ahead and make sure we didn't damage the blade in any way. I sure don't see any evidence of it, but you know. Let's make sure. Still razor sharp. Matter of fact. Yeah, it's shaving the hair off my arm very nicely. Very nice indeed. In spite of all that, I see absolutely no damage whatsoever to the knife. So there you have it. Ruffian from CJRB, new for 2022. Very sweet, very nice. Not bad the fidget factor either. Very smooth and all and all, so. But, that call I took was from my boss asked me if I could come in an hour early for my day job, so. I uh, wish you luck. As always, I'll leave the link down below for anyone who wants to buy the knife. I'll leave you a couple videos over here I think you'll enjoy. As well as that shield over here that you can hit if you want to subscribe. I hope you do. In the meantime, I'll wish you a great weekend, and remember, it's ability decides what we can do. It's motivation decides what we will do. But it's attitude decides how well we do it. So if you're going to do anything, do it with attitude. See ya. Bye now.